My name is Robert Taylor, and I am from the Cooperative Institute for Climate and Satellites, North Carolina. And today we did an activity um, showing the effects of climate change on bees and their pollination cycles. So it's a three-part activity. In the first part, uh, we did a control scenario where we were simulating a perfect world with no climate change impacts, and the bees had free reign to pollinate as many trees as they wished. To begin the activity, we divided the group into trees and bees. All of the trees were given a piece of just normal sidewalk chalk, and the bees were all given damp Q-tips. In order to execute the activity, the bees would leave the hive and go find the trees and rub their Q-tip on the piece of chalk to collect the chalk on the Q-tip, simulating the collection of pollen. They would then return to the hive area and paint their pollen onto a piece of construction paper, um, creating a piece of artwork from all the bees' pollination efforts. For the second scenario, we simulated the migration of certain plant species northward in the southeast, um, removing some of the species to simulate the diversity or lack of diversity that results when those species leave and how that affects the bees' pollination cycles and their ability to uh, pollinate and thrive as a hive. The trees that were holding red colored chalk were removed from the experiment. So the resulting piece of art that the bees would create when they came back to the hive after rubbing their chalk on the remaining colors of trees would lack the diversity of the red trees. In the third scenario, we introduced the climate impacts due to uh, pesticides. So with warming temperatures, we see an increased use of pesticides due to invasive species and new insect populations. And this, these pesticides kill the bees and lead to even less diversity and less pollination activity. We introduce farmers by giving a selected group of the now missing tree people a spray bottle full of water. And those farmers would simulate the spraying of pesticides by walking through the group and spraying bees removing them from the experiment. So this, this activity is important because um, pollinators in general, but bees specifically, are experiencing um, extreme impacts due to climate change. Their dormancy cycles are not lining up with the flowering of the trees, and it's limiting their ability to pollinate plants and to thrive as a hive. For kids, it's really great because who doesn't love pretending like there are a bee buzzing around or a tree blowing in the wind? And, um, you can put, you can, you can allow the children to be in an open area and run around and really have fun, and and so they learn about ecosystems, they learn about pollination, they get to pretend to be trees and bees and fly around, and um, and they get to create art all at the same time. And then once their artwork is done, we can talk about the differences in their pieces of artwork and why those differences exist.